The role of the principal investigator in a research study is to first and foremost be responsible for the conduct of the study from the beginning until the end. This includes making sure that anybody who's associated under his or her supervision conducts themselves appropriately with regard to um, advising subjects of what it is they're going to be participating in, making sure that what's called the inclusion and exclusion criteria are honored. Inclusion criteria tells us who can participate in a trial because they have certain characteristics or values with regard to or as determined by labs that they might, that they might take part in, and that folks who shouldn't participate in the trial are not permitted to. This runs into an interesting scientific question, and it's called staging the results, which suggests that a researcher might set a trial up to get to a favorable outcome for whatever reason, and that's something that we need to be very careful about. Another thing that the, uh, that the principal investigator is responsible for is excellent record keeping and documentation. When folks come in to look over the results of the trial, one of the first things they're going to do is look at what we call the regulatory binder or the regulatory records to make sure that all of the protections for the subjects are being taken care of and equ equally importantly whether the scientific data collection has been carried out with integrity and appropriately.